Hello there today viewers. On behalf of the Market360 Advisors here at Stuart Peterson, I'm Bob Devonport and this is your Dairy Week in Review for August 30th, 2013. So let's take a look at our CME dairy components at the conclusion of Friday's trade. And cash cheese block settled the week at 178 and a quarter, up 11 and a quarter cents. Barrels settled the week at 177 even, up 12 and three quarters cents. Cash butter settled the week at 143 and three quarters, up four and a quarter cents. August whey finished at 57.60, up 0.6 cents. And August nonfat dry milk was unchanged again on the week at 177 even. Going on over to Class 3 Futures, September closed out the week at 1783, posting a 55 cent gain. October settled at 1819, up 46 cents on the week, and that puts our 2013 average now at 1768, up 8 cents on the week. So let's take a look at the cash cheese sessions in a little bit more detail. So here we have a weekly chart of the block barrel average. Now last week the block barrel average just saw big losses and finished the week down 11 and a half cents. However, during this week's session we took back all of those losses and then some. The block barrel average was able to finish out the week up 12 cents and we're right back about to where we were two weeks ago before last week's big sell-off. We saw some renewed buying interest throughout to this week's five sessions and that was just enough to push block barrel average back up to 177 and 5 eighths for the week. Going on over to Class 3 Futures now, um, the second month contract, currently September, traded as high as 1797 this week, which actually occurred during today's session, and traded as low as 1735 this week. Now the September contract was able to finish up today at 1783, and that was a 55 cent gain on the week. Again, with Class 3 Futures, we saw a similar price pattern that we saw in the cash cheese trade this week and last week. Last week we saw a pretty significant sell-off on the September contract, however this week mainly supported by the renewed buying interest that we've seen in the cash cheese sessions as well as the higher feed prices here. We were able to find enough support and enough new buying interest here this week to post a 55 cent gain. Now the July milk production report was released last week and the numbers that came in showed July milk production at 15.7 billion pounds. Now that's up 1.1% from July of 2012 and down slightly from June of 2013 which is a seasonal move lower and to be expected. But so far for all of 2013 here we've only seen numbers below that of 2012 for two months of the year. For the past three months we've been at least 1% over what we've been at during the prior year. Our monthly cold storage report was also released late last week and that shows July cheese stocks up 5% for July of 2013 over July of 2012. Now that is a new record for the amount of cheddar cheese and cold storage and that's up just slightly from month ago levels which was also a new record. So we slightly just broke that level here in July. Again up 5.5% for July of 2013 over the prior year. Weekly dairy cow slaughter also increased from the prior week. Weekly slaughter for the latest week reported came in at 59,500 head. Now that's up slightly from the week prior. However, this week's number actually did come in below the 2012 number for the same week. Now it marks the first time in the past three weeks that we've seen 2013 slaughter numbers drop back below those 2012 numbers. However, on a year-to-date basis for 2013, slaughter numbers are still running just shy of 3% ahead of where we were at during this same week in 2012. Now again, due to that seasonal pattern here, that pickup and slaughter that we've seen from back in July here is pretty typical. As you can see, we're following pretty much the same pattern that we've followed back back in 2012. Taking a look at the week ahead here, uh, we'll have our dairy export numbers out next Wednesday as well as weekly dairy cow slaughter numbers on Thursday. And again, just note that next week is a shortened week due to the Labor Day holiday. 
So that'll do it for us here today. On behalf of the Market 360 Advisors here at Stuart Peterson, thanks for watching and have a great holiday weekend.